What are the best ways you can farm legendaries within Diablo 4? Not XP, not gold, but legendaries. Legendaries and those aspects. Well today guys, I bring you 5 of the best ways to farm those Legos. So let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. But before we go any further guys, this video is sponsored by MitchCactus.com. If you guys are looking to get ahead in Diablo 4, Mitch Cactus is a great, legit online service that can assist you in many, many different ways. Whether you need all your Lilith statues collected, a full campaign completion, how to get into a certain power level, or quick access to world tier 4, Mitch Cactus has you covered with over 7,000 trust pilot reviews back in this service. This website is linked down below. Use code DPJ for 5% off. So farming legendaries and better gear is a must for those end game players and there are ways to do so. But there are also quicker quicker methods in doing this. So if you are chasing a specific item or even a specific aspect, these methods today should help you out. Now what I will say is uniques and target farming them can be done as each type, each enemy type does have increased chances of dropping certain loot. So if it's a unique you are after, check out the video linked in the video description on how to get or how's your best bet in getting every unique this game offers. Okay, so let's get into this and well, we will start with the obvious, how tights. These are a fast but simple way to earn and get legendaries. Simply look on your map for when those How Tired events start or use the HowTires.com website which I'll link down below to know when they are coming and simply farm enemies for those cinders to open those chests. Now HowTires.com is a great great website because it tells you where those mastery chests are too. And also remember guys, these can change meaning you can grab up to 4 of these 250 cinder chests. They change on the hour. So if you start a how tide at half six and you farm 500 cinders before seven, you can open the two mastery chests. Then at seven guys, these chests should change location, meaning you can farm another 500 cinders and open them up again to earn even more legendos. But yeah, the how tide overall is a great way to earn legendos. And if I were you, I'd find an event within the how tide area and keep completing it as when you complete it once, hang around the area and it should respawn in no time for you to do it and go at it again. Okay, so next up guys, we have two dungeons you can farm for easy legendos. Best thing about these is the fact that they don't have to be those nightmare dungeons either. So you can just pick and farm these when you want. Okay, so firstly guys, we have Order's Cave. This is a hectic dungeon which is absolutely full of those enemies, but it's also fast and straightforward to run, with plenty of elites and high chances of events spawning within here too. So let's run this dungeon up until the end guys, which should take you no longer than 5 minutes if your build is decent. And well, within killing all the enemies within here, you should see a few legendaries drop for you. The other dungeon you can farm is the, well, the first part of Mercy's Reach. So this dungeon beholds two rooms full of elites, which will obviously have higher drop chances of those legendaries. So enter Mercy's Reach, do the very first objective by killing the three elites, then progress onto the point where you need to collect two items from two different rooms for the pedestals. These individual, these two individual rooms behold a ton of enemies and elites. So go head to the first one and slay away. Once you have that, that certain item, you may as well pick it up, it makes you move quicker. Head then straight to that second room. From here guys, clear it out. But here, just pick up that loot and don't progress any further on into this dungeon. Simply quit out of the dungeon, then quit out of your game. Load the game back up, re-enter the dungeon, the dungeon would have reset, can farm this again. It's a great way to earn a decent amount of legendaries for sure as these two rooms have much higher chances of dropping due to the enemy, those are legendary items, as well as uniques. Okay, so next up guys, we have the best nightmare dungeon for legendaries, and it is none other than the Horfrost Demise. Now the reason I feel this is possibly the best nightmare dungeon to run is the fact of how quick you can actually complete this dungeon. 
I can run this in about 3 minutes and with the increased drops upon completion it means this dungeon is super quick in rewarding you those legendaries and uniques. So whenever you have a sigil for this dungeon make sure you run it because it is so so fast and it rewards you decent legendaries too. So this farm uh, I'm about to showcase to you guys is one I posted a while back. I tried to test it again because I thought you know what they're going to nerf this out again. Guess what guys it's still here. It is the quickest way in my opinion to get certain aspects you may be looking for for the in game gear. So how this works for those that do not know is by abusing a method in finding an infinite event farm which is on a map. An event which is 9 times out of 10 always here and at the same time so easy to do and complete. Now upon you completing this, you're obviously rewarded XP, you get a chest which has got loot in it too which can drop legendaries, but you also earn those obols if you mastery it, which you should always do. Well, you'll get increased obols if you mastery it. So come to this waypoint on the map right here guys and make your way down to this event area. Once you are here, simply complete this event, it should take you no longer than a minute or two. Once you have, collect that loot from that chest and then simply fast travel back to town. Upon you arriving back in town, simply enter that portal again and travel back to this event area. Again, 9 times out of 10 guys, there will be another event waiting for you to take part in. And you can simply rinse and repeat this farm until you are maxed out on obols. You can then from here guys, sell that loot that you do not need, that you obtain from the chest and killing those enemies. And then guys, you can visit the gambler and spend those obols. Now to farm aspects you obviously want to purchase specific items you know those aspects drop on. In doing so guys you will eventually see the aspect you have been chasing. This is the very method I use for a while to rack up those aspects and I also have many many spares of each specific aspect for when I eventually do get that better gear, that in game gear. So yes guys take advantage of this amazing farm which again is still in the game for you to abuse. And there we have it guys, 5 amazing ways to earn legendaries within Diablo 4. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.